Wherever the big earth-moving jobs are being done these days, there you will find an increasingly familiar sight. The giant of the earth movers, the D-9 at work. It may be dozing out a new, safer route for a roadway to span a continent. Or in the big timber country, where the going is toughest, it may be bringing out the logs. You may find it moving a mountain of raw material in some industrial application. Or ripping a seam of heavy rock. But wherever it is working, the mighty D-9 is making the most severe assignments look commonplace. For example, on a highway job near Guadalupe Peak in West Texas, the D-9 has encountered some of the toughest operating conditions to be found anywhere. Whether it helps the scrapers to secure a full load or pushes rugged boulders aside, the D-9 stays on the job, delivering top performance. In another part of the country, a Caterpillar field reporter talked with the D-9 owner who had this to say about its performance. This is Mr. John Lope, superintendent for Adam Idemiller, Incorporated. This contractor is at work on an interstate highway job near New Stanton, Pennsylvania. What route is that? Township Route 31. I see. Uh, how many miles of roadway are involved in this job? We have approximately six and a half miles of four lane Limited access highway. What part of Pennsylvania does that run through? Uh, near New Stanton, western part of Pennsylvania. I see. Uh, you, on your D-9 that you have uh, at work on this job, the one we've been looking at today, uh, what are the various applications that the D-9 is working on here? We use it for pushing, bulldozing, and uh, a lot of ripping. Uh, in the uh, ripping operation, uh, we were up there on the cut this morning. Tell us something about that uh, work the D-9 was doing. We use it a, a lot for ripping uh, storm sewer ditches to eliminate a lot of uh, drilling and blasting. We find it to work exceptionally well for that. In other words, uh, you put the D-9 in to uh, rip the rock and then uh, bring your uh, shovel in for direct excavation. That is right, whatever we're going to use. About how uh, deep was the uh, nine ripping there? I'd say approximately two and a half, three feet. What kind of rock was that he was ripping in? Uh, hard shell rock. In the bulldozing work the D-9 is doing for you, uh, what is involved in that job? We are changing the channel for the new location, which goes underneath the new structure of the new highway. I see the uh, D-9 is working in some pretty rough going down there, isn't it? Yes, it is, in very muddy material. Uh, were you able to haul any of that material out of there? No, we cannot. We can't get any equipment to haul the material out. We have to push it out. I see. You're taking it from uh, the channel you're creating, and what are you doing with it? We're pushing it over into the existing channel, backfilling the old channel. And then when that's completed, you'll divert the flow of the creek into the new area, isn't that true? That is right. And in addition to uh, ripping and uh, the bulldozing the mafia site and the uh, changing of this channel, uh, are there any other jobs you use the D-9 for? You're uh, pushing other equipment for loading and mm -hmm. so forth. How does it work out in that type of job? Very well. Speed, very good. After uh, having the D-9 uh, on the various jobs that uh, we've mentioned, uh, what would you say was its uh, best operating feature for your company? Its power and its ruggedness and different trains of work. I see. Well, Mr. Loop, thank you very much for talking with us. The Route 31 contract in western Pennsylvania is a prime example of how the power and versatility of the D-9 gets the job done. The contractor, Adam Idemiller and Son Incorporated, utilized his D-9 on a variety of applications, each calling for the kind of performance that only the D-9 can provide. Farther east, on a sand and gravel job on Long Island in New York State, another D-9 proved its high production capacity in a material handling application. The owner uses his tractor for three important functions in this work. The tractor doses the material to the hopper. From there, a conveyor takes it up to the plant for washing, screening, and stockpiling. Practically the entire pit on this section of the job has been excavated by the D-9. The pit run gravel is extremely heavy 
requiring ample horsepower and lugging ability to deliver a profitable quantity to the conveyor. Stripping overburden in a new area to be developed is another of the D9's responsibilities on this job. Utilizing the capacity of the tractor on a number of volume production applications enables the owner to realize the fullest profit potential of the machine. Using the D9 as a production tool on a coal stripping operation is another application which dramatizes the capacity of this unit. The tractor on this job, owned by Moon and Sons of Connellsville, Pennsylvania, is equipped with a number 9U blade and a number 9 ripper. The tractor first rips the overburden, which consists of a 12-foot seam of sand rock. This must be removed to get to the coal. The sand rock is in layers six or eight inches thick, allowing the tractor to rip through and take it off in layers. On the coal seam, the tractor acts as a production tool. This allows the owner to effect a saving on labor, air compressor, jackhammer, and powder. A spokesman for Moon and Sons estimated that there was at least a 10% saving realized from using the machine in this work. Removing and stockpiling topsoil in another area is just one of the other things the D9 does on this job. The wide blade handles heaping loads on every pass. More and more on coal stripping operations all over the country, owners are relying on the capacity of the D9 to handle the really tough jobs calling for maximum power and durability. On a coal handling operation of another sort, the D9 is at work spreading and compacting the material as it is brought to the stockpile. This is Mr. Thomas F. Stanton, superintendent for the Salem Terminal Coal Company at Salem, Massachusetts. Mr. Stanton, how long have you had your D9? About a year. How is it equipped? Well, she's equipped with the uh, Balderson U blade for coal handling. I see. Uh, tell us something about what it does for you on this job. Well, we use the machine stockpiling coal, and uh, we use it for rolling the coal out and uh, grading and compacting the coal. In the uh, rolling the coal out, as you say, or spreading the material, uh, about what would you say was the capacity of the blade uh, on one average pass? Oh, better than 20 tons. About 20 tons. How many trucks would that uh, D9 service? Well, we use here four trucks. And, uh, she takes care of them very right. What would you say was the main or the best liked operating feature of the D9? Well, our boys like the hydraulic controls and the ease of handling, steering, and so forth. On such a large machine. Such a large machine. Plenty of power? Loads of power. Fine. Thank you very much, Mr. Stanton. The wide blade, spanning more than 16 feet, enables the D9 to move and spread heaping loads of coal with ease. In addition, the tractor also compacts the coal. On each return pass, the operator adds one track width to the compacted area. This work is carefully done to prevent excessive moisture accumulation and to provide for proper water runoff. Working for industry on material handling jobs such as the one at the Salem Terminal Coal Company calls for continued high volume production day after day. On this type of work, the D9 has compiled an unmatched performance record. On a rocky highway job through the coastal mountains of California, the D9 was pitted against some of the roughest going to be found anywhere. An excavation superintendent of long experience made these remarks about its capacity and performance in this demanding work. This is Mr. Lyle Hartwig, excavation superintendent for J.E. Haddock Limited, who's working on the Conejo grade job near Ventura, California. Mr. Hartwig, tell us something about this job. Well, the original road was a three-lane road, and we were widening it to a six-lane road from the top of the summit to the foot of the hill. Um, is this part of the interstate defense highway system? Uh, yes, it is. How many miles of roadway are you building here? 
approximately five miles. Uh, what kind of material are you working in? Well, the roadway passes through a series of volcanic flows ranging from all weathered basalt to a resistant volcanic breccia. Well, Mr. Hartwig, how many yards of dirt were involved on this job when you first started? About a million two hundred and fifty thousand. And how many yards do you have to move yet? Oh, approximately 150 to 200,000. I saw the, uh, that first D9 on the first section uh, working on the fill. Uh, about how many yards of dirt does uh, that nine handle in a day? Well, the PR-21s uh, bring about uh, 1,800 to 2,000 cubic yards a day into the fill, a one eight-hour shift, and the D9 uh, uh, helps take care of the knocking down of the rock. I see. Uh, what particular performance feature do you like best on the D9? Well, they're a pretty rugged piece of machinery, and it's what it takes to uh, work on these rock jobs. And this is a pretty tough rock job. This has been a pretty tough rock job. Well, Mr. Hartwig, I've enjoyed talking with you. Thank you very much. On the fill, the tractor spread the material in alternate layers of rock and clay or other finer material. After watering and compaction, the fines enter and mix with the rock layers, making an ideal base for the roadway. Other D9s on this job worked with the shovels, dozing out the rock for easier loading onto the haul units. Extremely tough rock work tests the capacity of every machine on the job. The D9s met the test and proved their caterpillar heritage of sound design and rugged durability. To the north, where gold prospectors once roamed the mother load country of the Sierra Nevada mountains, another product much needed in our modern world is being taken from the earth. At one of the largest cement plants in the area, a Caterpillar D9 is one of the most important pieces of machinery. This is Mr. Earl Bagley, superintendent of raw material activities for the Calavera Cement Company of San Andreas, California. Mr. Bagley, how long have you had your D9? Approximately four months. How is it equipped? With the straight blade and number nine ripper. What particular uh, applications do you have the D9 working on? Well, we have it in several applications. For one, down at our mill, we are pushing material out onto our stockpile. And then on weekends, when our crusher is not operating, we push back in for mill supply. Mm -hmm. Then at our quarry operation, we clean up about our shovels and push out our waste stripping material from the edge of the dump. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, we have a good amount of pioneering work, which we have to do on the rougher upper surfaces. Mm -hmm. I imagine that uh, the power of the D9 comes in handy in that type of work particularly. Very, very much so. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of performance has your D9 given you so far? The best example I can give you on that is, say, here on our dump as well as down at the plant on the stockpile moving operation. Mm -hmm. We will get perhaps two to three times as much material moved with this machine in a given amount of time as we did over the last previous machine we had in the job. That That's very interesting. What uh, particular performance feature of the D9 do you like best? Well, of course, it's size and power, giving it the ability to do these jobs, as well as the saving that we have from the machine, mm -hmm. economic saving. More work at less cost. That's right. In other words, you're happy with it? Very much so. OK, thank you very much, Mr. Bagley. Thus, in still another application, the D9 does the job on a scale that equipment users would not have dreamed of but 10 years before. Owners and operators alike have found that the D9 has been designed with their needs in mind. No matter what the job, new performance records are being written every day. Helping to build a modern express highway in the Midwest is one example of the D9's volume production ability. Securing full loads faster and cheaper for every scraper in the cut is the type of work the big tractor was built to do and do well. On a logging job deep in the Redwood country, 
the D9 is proving itself every day as a new concept in timber handling equipment. Getting out the logs under operating conditions too rugged for other machines is proof of a capacity for work unmatched by any other crawler tractor. Job reports from every corner of the world are causing an increased awareness of its capacity for superior performance on practically any earth-moving job. Wherever there is hard work to do, more and more contractors are calling on the D9 to do it. That's why the D9 today, famed not only for its size and horsepower, but also for its stamina and durability, is the one crawler tractor that has earned the right to be known as Giant of the Earth Movers. 